Hey guys, what's up? My name is Javier, and today we're going to be taking a look at Milwaukee's M12 12 volt LED stick light model 2351-20. Right here I have a M12 LED light, which is an excellent flashlight. You get 160 lumens of brightness, and it runs off Milwaukee's 12 volt M12 batteries. So what makes a new LED stick light great? First off, it includes three high quality LEDs, and that brings it up to 220 lumens, so it's noticeably brighter. Instead of being a spotlight, it lights up a wide area perfect for lighting up a wall. I thought the old LED light had a nice even light distribution, but the stick light is completely even. There are no hot spots or dim spots. It is a solid blanket of light. The light itself is more of a natural tone instead of the pale white light of the single LED light. The LED stick light works best up close. Even though it is much brighter than the LED flashlight, it doesn't project the light that far away like the flashlight does. This video was taken at night on a trail with the LED stick light and as you can see it is very bright but it only works best up close. After several yards the light wasn't very bright. Here we have my familiar background being lit by the stick light. Notice the wide even light distribution. Now let's compare it to the M12 flashlight. The flashlight is bright but it doesn't light up the wall like the LED stick light. So you can see here how the LED stick light shines at lighting up large areas. And covering those three LEDs is an impact resistant lens plate durable enough to withstand serious abuse. And if it ever gets damaged, no worries there as it is removable and replaceable. You simply remove the four screws on the front and replace the lens plate. It's that easy. The stick light also includes a battery fuel gauge which was missing on the single LED light model. This is great to have as it sucked not knowing if my batteries were full or if they were going to die soon on the old flashlight. Another big feature is the added multi-position stainless steel hook. It comes stowed away on top and can be unlocked to hang it vertically or pulled back and locked into place so you can hang it on something and have it face downwards. You can tell Milwaukee put a lot of thought and effort into this light. Also on the back of the light is a threaded accessory port for use with the optional magnet. The magnet is one of the best features of the original LED light as you can stick it on a metallic surface. The accessory port is also great for attaching this LED light to a tripod. The M12 LED stick light comes by itself as a bare tool only, so no batteries or charger are included. It can take any M12 battery from the compact to the extra capacity packs. The stick light is rated for 4 hours or more of runtime. I'm assuming it's 4 hours on the smallest capacity battery packs, so expect to get longer run times and larger capacity batteries. It measures about 2 inches at its width for a nice solid grip with plenty of rubber over mold and is 9 and 7 8 inches at its length. It weighs just over half a pound without a battery so it's very light. Now on to what I don't like about it. Unlike the flashlight, it doesn't have a pivoting head. I really like that feature on the flashlight as I can place it anywhere and angle the light beam where I want it. I can't do that with the LED stick light. It doesn't include the magnet. I think it should be included for the price you pay. And the last feature is when using extra capacity batteries that the hook will not stay into the horizontal position. But I feel most people will be using compact batteries, so this isn't going to be a problem for most of you. With that being said, the brightness and the quality of the light output more than make up for its downsides, and will really be a lifesaver in certain situations. Alright people, I hope you enjoyed my review of the Milwaukee M12 LED stick light. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.